Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Diorama Don here once again. Um, a few weeks ago, well weeks, maybe months ago now, uh, I made this watchtower uh, that went in, in to include in my uh, Great Escape diorama. Um, it, it was the, 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 the bottom part, the base of it, the stand, that was uh, challenging to do, to say the least. Uh, so I had the idea then of making a water tower. So uh, this is the, the finished water tower. And again, the, the bottom was very challenging to make, uh, but uh, overcame it with a, a very simple jig. But uh, I'll explain that a little later. So in the meantime, this is how I went about making my water tower. So let's make a start then. I've got a washing up liquid bottle. Um, I think most households would have something similar. Um, and it was the, the, the bottom domed part, well the top actually, uh, but it turned it upside down and you've got a, a dome bottom there. And looking at old um, water towers on uh, Google search, um, it, it shows a shape like that at the bottom like so. So that, that's what got me thinking, well, that's a water tower. So I cut um, another one about the height of the uh, uh, tower that I want it to be, uh, three inches like that, and cut the uh, thread off the bottom. And there will be a, a three quarter pipe coming down uh, from that for the, the feed for the water. So that's basically the shape that uh, I was after, that. And then to keep the integrity of the, the shape in the top, I just cut a piece of uh, cardboard that will fit exactly in there. Uh, when that's glued in there, then uh, it'll keep, keep the shape nicely. Uh, then on the top, I cut a circle of very thin card uh, and cut this out. I, I suppose you could do it mathematically, but uh, it's a lot easier just to keep doing it until it get until you get it right. Uh, when that's folded over like that, that'll give a, a conical shape on the top there, and that will fit eventually on the top. Okay, like that. So it's all beginning to look a bit water towery already, like that. And I want it to be a wooden wooden clad so there'll be uh, wood all the way around the edge so what i've done cut a piece of card uh, the height of the wood that i need so from that ridge there to the top so i've got the height and then i've cut a chamfer off the end end of each well i've got two pieces here of each piece of wood so that it's nice and thin and worn out and uh, decaying on the end, on both ends. And then with a the knife, just keep um, gouging into the surface of the cardboard and on the, on the edges as well, like so. So that when I cut, <laughs> move the camera. When I cut my pieces to go around the tower itself, uh, they they will already be distressed like that, so they'll be thin thinning and uh, uh, getting old and uh, I can't think of the word. Um, then also as well, uh, just take the the sharp sharp edge off like that, so that when they go together, they'll be like that. Okay. So I'll distress the wood before I actually stick them on. So I've got to do all the way around there like so. Stick them on there. Hot melt glue should do it. So it doesn't <laughs> melt the plastic can. So all the way around there. And that will, uh, that will be my uh, casing then for the water tower. Actually it'll be that way, won't it? Like that. Okay, so I'll do that. 
and I shall also do the same principle for the uh, wooden top as well. There'll be um, triangular shaped pieces coming down, um, wooden wooden uh, slats coming down from to make that conical uh, shape on the top. Okay, then there will be that effect on the bottom. They sh when, when these are on, I'll be able to stick it, <laughs> stick it like that uh, to the bottom there. And then it will be the legs, uh, but uh, that will be a little later. Um, I made the uh, a watchtower some time ago, um, and and the bottom of the water tower will be very similar uh, to that shape. So um, I've got my quarter inch, uh, yeah, quarter inch, six millimeter square balsa wood which will uh, make the legs and maybe even the cross pieces as well. Uh, but uh, I'll do the top first. I'll get the actual uh, uh, water uh, vessel done first with all the wood around and, and the top and come back and we'll see how we go on from there. OK, so I have put all my uh, bits of distressed wood all the way around the outside of the washing up container and uh, drew a circle slightly larger than the diameter of the water tower the container <laughs> the container and once I'd got a circle of thin card then from the center I could cut out triangles all the way around and um, and I put them on not in a straight line so some of them are a little jagged so each uh, uh, triangle I stuck on individually and then distressed the cardboard a little when they were done so that's the roof uh, I put a thin band of very thin cardboard all the way around uh, to denote the um, banding to keep the, the whole thing together <laughs> are you following this uh, put my circle on the bottom and then squared it off with uh, my quarter inch bolsa bolsa wood um, I've got a piece of uh, three quarter piping um, which will be the, the the outlet the water outlet from the from the tower itself so I'll stick that up in there uh, now all I have to do is put the uh, legs on. So what I've done, um, I've made a, a jig, if you like. Um, this will be the, uh, the the shape of the side, the shape of the legs that I want. So uh, I've decided they're ten inches tall. So this card is ten inches, and I can put my two of my legs either side like that and then with these thin lollipop sticks uh, you could use any lollipop stick and then just cut them down and now I've got uh, lines to, to follow if you like as to where the um, cross members of the legs will be so I can put that there uh, that, round. that there and that there and I know that they're going to be parallel because I drew the lines parallel and uh, and it means that once that's stuck I can take that off and do the same with the other two legs and then I've got the positions then to, to put the two pieces together and put the cross members across the two sides that I've got done <laughs> that means no sense at all uh, but you'll know you'll know when I have done it I, I think you've got the idea it, it just means that with this jig I can make two sides the same and once I've got two sides the same with the same distance at the top and the same distance at the bottom 
uh, I can easily, with those two parts, uh, put the cross members in to make it look like a four-legged thing to stand to hold the thing up. So <laughs> there'll be questions later, so I hope you're taking notes. <laughs> so I will go ahead and do my legs and then uh, fix it to my um, water tower, water tank, if you like, and give it a spray of grey and then uh, I'll see what happens then. Um, it needs to be some kind of woody looking effect and uh, yeah, so I'll do the legs, put them on and sh I'll show you more or less the finished article uh, but then I have to finish it off with some some kind of paint job. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, before I put everything together, I think I need to show you once more this uh, idea of making the the legs for the for the water tower. Um, I made one, uh, and it was rubbish, <laughs> so I had to break it all up and start again. Um, this has not been easy, I can assure you, uh, but it, I, I don't know how you would do it without this jig. So um, I, I didn't like the first one I made, so I, I made it a little narrower and a little shorter. And by putting just the two, the two legs either side there, I was able to put these uh, cross members in. And then I did the same with this end but then I was I was able then to put the two sides together like that so I had two sides and and put the inside the cross members on the inside that was the only way I could do it um, it, it, it it was very fiddly very cumbersome to do um, but uh, that's how I did it so if, if you ever want to make a construction like that, um, that's I feel that's the only way you can do it. Uh, you can't do it by eye, just by uh, guessing where these cross members go. So anyway, I've got this done now. Um, I've changed my outlet pipe from three quarters down to, down to one eighth. Um, so that will now sit there. And, and I think it looks more in perspective than it did before. It looked a bit strange before. Uh, so now I can uh, assemble it and paint it and I'll show you the finished object in a moment. Okay there we are, one completed water tower. Um, <clears throat> stuck it all together and put a, a, a spray paint, a, a grey spray paint coat and then just went over with um, white dry brushing, really. That, that's that's all I've done. Um, it gives <laughs> difficult to. Uh, is that better? Yeah. So that gives a, a good enough old wood looking appearance, I think. And uh, the top there uh, just gave a little bit of uh, rust appearance on the. Uh, what is supposed to be a metal stand for it. Uh, so there we are anyway, uh, one water tower. So if you've liked the video then please subscribe to the channel. Uh, you'll be informed when new videos come along and uh, in the meantime I'll see you in the next video and until then happy modeling. <laughs>